Greetings, it's the 7th of December 2020, and in this video, I'm going to look at how to make tropical cyclone satellite images. And this is for a Discord competition. Come join us on the Discord and submit your images. This plot here is the tracks of all of the tropical cyclones in 2020. In our competition, you have to submit a satellite image from 2020. And so I'm going to pick a storm, and I think I'm just going to pick one a little different. Let's go for something down in the southern Indian Ocean. If you want to find some tropical cyclones, just go to the Tropical Cyclones in 2020 Wikipedia page and you'll find a full list, or I think it's full. And so I'm looking for Southern Indian Ocean tropical cyclones. For this, there's actually its own dedicated web page, the 2019 to 2020 in Southwest Indian Ocean tropical cyclone season. So I'm going to pick the strongest storm of this basin. And I don't know what that is. Let's have a look. The lowest pressure was 930 hectopascals. The storm was Ambali. So let's look at Ambali. Very intense tropical cyclone Ambali. <laughs> well, this is the easiest competition ever because there's a really great tropical cyclone image right here in the Wikipedia page. I just brought it up. Super impressive. It turns out this is a actually very impressive storm based on the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Ambali's winds increased by 185 kilometers per hour in 24 hours, making it the fastest 24-hour intensification recorded in the Southern Hemisphere since 1980. Okay, change of plan. Actually, that storm was in 2019, late, very late 2019, but let's look at Tropical Cyclone Herald because this one is in 2020. Here it is. So, the time of maximum intensity was when Herald became, became an intense tropical cyclone on 17th of March, peaking with sustained winds of 110 miles per hour. So our date is 17th of March. Let's find some tropical cyclone images. To get to the 17th of March, we're just getting into NASA worldview and we'll go back to March and go to the 17th and let it load. And it's loading the Terra Modis image, first of all. And already you can see here is Herald down here. And uh, we've got our first tropical cyclone image. It's got a small little eye there, rather nice. And these are this is Reunion and Mauritius Island. So we can already get a really nice satellite image out of this close to these islands, which makes it prettier as well. I'm just going to check the Suomi Vers and to know it, the Acromodus. Okay, so actually the best one is the Terramodus because those other ones were not fully done. So this is the best image. So to save an image, let's just minimize that. And huh, what island is that? I'm gonna work that out later. So go up to the camera, click on the edges of the bar to expand it, and Actually, for Discord, I'm going to be doing it for Discord, so we have to get this down, if you don't have Nitro, down to under 8 megabytes. So I'm actually going to reduce the size of the box and put it down to almost exactly 8 megabytes, but keeping the islands in. I want to keep the islands in. And there. All right, I'm going to move it up a little bit like that and go with that, and then just download. And there you have it. Great image. Wow. To save it, you just right click and save image as, and I've already saved it. If you want to jazz it up a bit, you can bring it into Lightroom if you have Adobe Lightroom. And can actually, these images are JPEG. They're not the best um, as JPEGs, but you can develop and bring out a little bit more of the detail of the clouds because they tend to be overexposed on the clouds. And one of the things you can do is bring down the highlights, maybe the exposure a little bit, kind of bump up the vibrance. If you want a bit more color in there, and the clarity as well, make it a bit more dramatic contrast. I'll just leave it at that. Oh no, actually, if you want to bring out the 
blues of the ocean you can also lift the shadows and that helps to bring that up a little bit there we go and then to save it it's just file export here is our first image then herald but let's see if we can find another one of herald but this time at an angle himawari 8. for this go to this website it will give you the himawari 8 really cool views from NICT and then we want to go back in time to March 2020. Just click on the date and scroll back to March and what was it? 17th. Load it up. Now this trouble cyclone is going to be right on the edge of the limb if it's even there at all because it was way out on the side. You know sometimes it's like really really on the limb I think that it's too far off the limb I think it might be here but sometimes these look really cool when they're right on the limb of the earth it turns out that Harold is a bit too far out on the limb of the Himawari 8 image so I'm gonna look at another tropical cyclone that is in this area of the earth so that we get a really nice picture of it Australia is slap bang in the middle of the Himawari view, so let's go for an Australian tropical cyclone. I've already chosen one, I'm going to go for severe tropical cyclone Damien. It looks like Damien made landfall near Karatha on 8th of February, so I think a landfall satellite image should be good. Let's go for 8th of February. Back on the Himawari 8 NICT page, and we want to go back to February the 8th load it up let's see what we got come on there we go there it is so that is Damien making landfall and just zoom in as much as possible to get the best res which is about that level it'll pop out if you go too far in and then really to save the image I've got you can print screen on standard, I've actually got light shot installed, which will bring up a box so I'll be able to select an area. You know what? It does have this yellow coastline, so I think I'm going to actually get rid of that to go more pure image. To do that, you just click the plot shorelines thing back down here. Hey, okay, how do we get rid of it? There we go. Just click it a few times, it changes color and then it goes away. All right, let's redo that. The print screen, do another area, and save. I'm just going to leave it at it as it is. You can edit it a bit in Lightroom or whatever, but let's just leave it this one as it is and have the other one that's slightly edited. Now it's time to upload for the competition. I've opened Discord and let's upload some of these images. Okie dokie, Herald, not Herald, Herald, Damien and Herald. So let's start with the Herald one. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Rory Tracking has just put up this image, which I know is not from 2020. That is an old image. I'm pretty sure. Let's <laughs> go about that. And the second one is Damien. Damien, it's all said. And there you have it. Looks like uh, CTOS is not impressed with my imagery. Looks horrible. <laughs> See you in the next one.